What's going on everybody? Thank you for stopping by my channel today. My name is Daryl and as you can see by the title of this video I've run into a little bit of a problem. Last Wednesday, that's just a couple of days ago, we had some pretty good thunderstorms ro roaming through the area here and we all knew that it was going to be pretty bad. They said we were at a level five, four or five, four or five for um, Severe thunderstorms, possible tornadoes, hail, high winds. So I do, I did what I always do, and I go and I unplug everything that's precious to me, and make sure that you know if there's a lightning problem uh, or uh, some kind of electrical issue that uh, my my favorite things, my ham radios, and my uh, in, in equipment, and my uh, woodworking tools and stuff like that. Are not plugged in and uh, I won't lose anything so I'm watching out the window it was raining like crazy just absolutely pouring down rain and it had been pouring down rain for uh, probably about a good half hour and uh, the neighbor across the street was getting a roll-off dumpster so it got the attention of one of the dogs the dog jumped on our our bed in our bedroom and was looking out the window at at the guy and uh, working in the pouring down rain. And I'm watching the radar on my phone. So I can see, well, this is, what's coming through is not good and that's probably not a good idea for this guy to be out there. So, uh, while he's out there working, he gets back into his truck, he gets this roll off off and he's sitting in his truck and all of a sudden the rain is not rain anymore. It's like a mist, like it's being pulverized by high winds, you know. So it's like a like a like almost like you're in the shower like and a, have a small droplets of, of water and i look at the trees and the trees aren't swaying side to side from the wind they're going like this they're twisting back and forth like this i'm like well what's going on with that so i go to another window that's right next to the window but i was looking out of but it's facing in the westerly direction and i look out and right above our property here i see a funnel cloud and I'm like, holy crap. So I grab the dogs and the cats and we go down to our little storage room. That is our, our storm uh, you know, shelter down there. And uh, we're hiding down there. And as I get down there, the National Weather Service issues a tornado warning for the, the lake that's near us. But uh, um, it's probably about you know, a mile away or so. So... By the time I got every the dogs down there and me down there, this funnel cloud was already past our house. It was moving at a pretty good clip. And we have a walkout basement, so I can see in that direction. I can see, you know, I can hear the rain change, the wind change and everything. Not very much wind with it. It seemed like all the wind was up above uh, the, the property and not a whole lot of wind down. It seemed like all the air was being sucked up inside this thing. So it was learned later that there was a tornado uh, south of us, but along the same path. So I'm wondering if this could have been another one that was trying to form, or if it's the same one and it finally, uh, you know, stretched all the way down the ground and became an actual tornado. So this storm goes by us and my wife comes home from work. And when she came home from work, another, another round of storms had started. And so when she got home, it was uh, pouring pretty good. So I bring her into the bedroom. I kind of tell her about the story and everything. And while I was uh, telling her the story, a lightning strike occurs. And it's like flash bang right away. So I knew that we had something had gotten hit real near our house or at our house. And I told her it probably hit my tower. So... After it was safe for me to go outside, I went out there and looked up there, and everything looked okay. But I went back in and got my binoculars and looked up there, and I saw that my vertical antenna, the top of the vertical antenna, had been blown off. <laughs> so it did hit the tower. So I go downstairs, and I'm looking around at my equipment, and I go downstairs, because I had everything unplugged. So I go down there, and I smell smoke. I looked down at the carpet where the feed lines are laying and there's no scorching on, on the floor at all. So 
come to find out, uh, just make it a long story short, I forgot to do remove the feed line from my Yezu FT uh, 400 uh, mobile radio that I had on my on my uh, desk, a radio desk. And of course, it's connected via via the uh, programming cable to my computer, and then all my other computers, my ICOM 9700 and my 7300, they're also connected to that computer via programming cables, you know, for running like FT8 and things like that. So the FTM 400 was smoking when I when I went down there, and it was toast. And my, all my computers in the house are gone. I, we lost three desktop, anything that was on the, the internet, like had a Cat5 cable or anything like that, which they all did down there, is toast. The, all the, oops, sorry, my, my camera's falling here. Let me try to get it straightened out. I don't know what's going on. No, it just came unhooked. Okay, hold on. So uh, it might come loose again, I don't know. So anyway, uh, all the antennas in the tower are trash. The vertical's gone, the 13B2 is gone, the rotator is also gone, and all the internet uh, equipment that was on the tower is, was, was gone. It was all burned up. In the shop, the the, all the internet company's equipment was shot. We'll put it, put it that way. My shop computer is gone. The monitor is gone. Uh, I think that's the only thing in the shop that got it. My wife's iMac, my, my com main computer in the shack is, is gone. And let's see, oh, my uh, Raspberry Pi. I got my Raspberry Pi, too. And it got, uh, so all the internet, like the switch and everything is all gone. Just because I forgot to disconnect that, I don't know. Could it have still struck anyway and damaged those? I really don't know. Um, I would hope not. So all my feed line and everything has to be replaced. Now you know that I just put this tower up. And, uh, and I was getting ready to make a video on grounding it. You know, I was waiting for the ground to kind of dry up a little bit because we're getting so much rain this spring. And I'm kind of waiting for the ground to dry up a little bit. And I'm going to put this, all my ground rods in. So I got 10 ground rods because I want to make a good, uh, a good uh, ground, a path for anything like this to, to go. So my plans are to go around the tower, go around the whole shop, and then bond it back to my main ground at the house. But, of course, before I could even get to that point, I already took a lightning strike on the tower. So that's a bummer, you know. I should have just put a ground rod in there. Maybe that would have helped, but I didn't want to just half, half do it, you know. I wanted to do it right. Um, I got the Motorola book on grounding, and, uh, you know, I'm looking how they, they ground their commercial sites. And I wanted to try to get as close to that as I can. Financially, it'd be too expensive to really do an elaborate system, but... Um, to be able to uh, to do it as well as I can, you know, I'm just want don't want to just throw a couple ground rods in there and be done with it. I want to ground all the way around the shop and everything, so you know I have a good uh, ground field there. So, anyways, before I could even get that done, Mother Nature decided she had other plans. So that tower took its first hit. The tower itself, and I'm sorry for my camera dropping. I have it on a little tripod here, and it's suction cup to my table, and it keeps coming loose for some reason. So I might have to just hold the phone. But uh, I just wanted to let you know what happened. And, uh, you know, I had some, some videos planned to come out, and now I can't even get that computer to run. So I don't know what, when I'm going to get this stuff replaced. I'm making a list to give to the insurance company. And I don't know what they're going to pay for or how much they're going to pay for anything. I really don't know. So that's kind of a bummer. It's a big setback for me. At least none of my, my woodworking tools took a hit. Um, my, set, my drum sander was plugged in. I never leave my stuff plugged in like that. Especially when there's going to be a storm. I go out to my shop and I look over everything. 
and that saw or that sander was plugged in and i'm like when i flipped the switch it wouldn't turn on i'm like ah oh, crap i lost it and come to find out that the internet equipment was causing the breaker to, to pop so that breaker i'm going to replace because i don't trust it anymore and i got to pull the cover off the the sub panel and the main panel downstairs in the house and just look them over and make sure there's no scorching or anything i have not done that yet but i'm going to do that and then if i need an electrician to come out here i'll i will definitely send get one sent out here um and just looking for other damage you know sometimes these things happen this is the second time i've taken a a lightning strike it's the last time i had a, this in my old uh tower uh it was also 70 feet and lightning missed that tower and and went to a four foot uh concrete pillar that was in my neighbor's yard uh, for an old fence that used to be up way a long time ago a long time ago days and it hit that that cement pillar and blew it to smithereens but it didn't touch my tower and uh you know it just you never know what's gonna happen you know so anyways it did hit the tower i don't think it was a really giant lightning bolt because it only blew off the top maybe five inches of the vertical um but the internet guy he came and his it blew the door like the little door where all the wiring goes in for the for the dish that was on the tower it blew the door open on that thing so uh he went and went to cut his cable to put a new fitting on it a new connector on it and it was all burned and scorched so everything had to be replaced so he got me up and running again and i'm sorry about this stupid this thing i'm gonna have to come up with something different i've been trying to find a solution for for not having a tripod but i think i'm just going to end up having to buy a tripod as a as one of the com commenters said to get one and i need to do that but i just want to let you know what was going on and uh, i won't this won't be a long video or anything that anything like that but i'm going to try i got things going on with a six meter repeater i'm still moving forward on that and i was ready to put on another video i would have had it out on uh, friday which is today but uh can't get the computer to run the computers i think the motherboard is toast and the monitors toast. So i have no way to, to do it so i'm going to try to make some videos on my phone and try to keep videos coming but uh i do have some things going on with a six meter repeater that are good things and moving it forward so stay tuned for that and i'll do my best even if it's short little uh, uh short little uh, videos that um just kind of show you what I'm actually doing. I'm trying to take this this thing loose here. <laughs> Sorry. But even if it's uh, little videos that kind of show you what I'm up to with it, uh, update videos or whatever, I will post those. And uh, we'll try to keep that thing moving forward. Um, if you're looking for the uh, cabinet build, I've got hinges. I had to go get new hinges for that. The hinges that I bought were the wrong ones so i had to order these i couldn't get these things local again couldn't be couldn't be found so i had to order them and they just came in so i i can move forward on that too so right now i'm busy making lists I, right now actually today i went and helped a, another ham buddy put up an antenna on his roof so i did that but uh i'm trying to make a list and get it to the insurance company so i'm kind of busy with that but uh, i do have some things that i ordered for the repeater build that came in so it will help us move forward i'm almost to the point with that thing where i can uh, t make sure the uh, you know go in there and and uh, test the receive radio and see what the sensitivity is on that i don't want to put this uh, repeater out there with a radio that doesn't hear so i want to make sure it's hearing well and uh run a few other tests and then set the audio level on everything and then uh i got something else i want to want to do with that that repeater also so anyway i'll keep it short um I, but i just wanted to make this short little video to kind of tell you what's been going on here we're all fine you know with all this uh, uh the uh, funnel cloud and all the storms and the just crazy amount of rain we got there's actually no like damage and no damage to our property, no damage that we that I saw on this road, and uh, 
no limbs down or nothing. It's like crazy. Like when that thing went over, all the wind was above the house. You know, be, everything was being like kind of vacuumed up into this thing. And uh, it did not break anything. There was no side, you know, side wind or anything like that. No downdraft or anything like that. So it was really kind of weird. But I was, I was taken by surprise, that's for sure, by both things. One, the, the funnel cloud being right there so close to our, our house, even though I was watching radar. You know, I'm a spotter, so I uh, I got fooled on that one. And then uh, the lightning strike, you know, that was just, uh, you know, you know, thanks a lot. <laughs> I went through all that work to get things done, and uh, I don't even know if, uh, if it would have not struck the tower even if I had the ground system on there. The Internet Company, they... Uh, had uh their one of their towers hit by lightning and uh, it's all grounded so he said you know we were talking about it and you know all their equipment there was toast and uh you know that tower's grounded well and well grounded so i uh, didn't their equipment didn't make it there so i don't know how many lightning strikes uh, uh damage uh, requests they had in that for that day but at least two, one for their stuff and one for mine. So anyway, what do you think? Do you think the lightning rod or the ground rods would have stopped that from happening? I really don't know. I, I would think that it probably would have helped. And I think that uh, if I would not have had the FTM 400 hooked up to that vertical, which is where it was, what it was hooked to, that it probably would not have uh, struck. So... I don't know if it was my own doing or not, but uh, I just don't know. But uh, it's kind of a bummer because I lost a lot of stuff. You know, I lost my auto tuner. I lost the F FTM 400. My uh, 9700 has got a problem. My um, 7300 seems like it's okay. I was able to connect to it with the YouTube, with a USB um, programming cable, and uh, I was able to connect to it on a laptop and. Uh, seemed like it was okay but uh, i left it on all day yesterday to try to see if it was going to have a problem and uh so far it's been all right 9700 it uh turns on and you can talk on it but uh the usb port is shot on it and the it was connected to the internet also and i'm sure the nick on there is, is uh, not going to work so that's got to go in for repair and uh, I already talked to my climber and told him what was going on. So he said when I get the replacement antennas and feed line and everything that he'd be he'd come over and put the stuff up for me. So I don't want to do that until I get the ground in, you know, the ground system in there this time. So what a bummer, you know. But uh, we'll keep moving forward and uh, we'll move forward on the six meter repeater and get that in. You know. The club's repeater we put up there uh, about probably about it's been probably been a little over two years ago we put it up. It was up there for for probably nearly two years. It's 157 feet tall, and uh, it had no grounding on it at all, and it never took a lightning strike. And it's on top of a big hill. So uh, here's mine over here, and evidently it was the the uh, you know the best thing that you know lightning wanted it lightning wanted that tower you know to expel its energy i guess so it found it and uh, it used it and i'm paying the price for it so anyway that's what's going on over here it'll get better i'm not trying to let it i'm trying to i'm on the other side of being upset about it now i was very hurt by that um, because i worked a long time to try to get the money to buy these things and then uh you know, Mother Nature took them away from me. So I'm trying to pick up the pieces of what still works and uh, get back going again. So at least, uh, you know, it could have been worse. It could have been a fire or somebody could have been, you know, hit by this bolt. And uh, one of the dogs could have gotten hurt or cats or something like that. But nobody got injured. And no, there was no fire yet or anything. You know, nothing's burned yet. So there's hopefully no scorched wires anywhere. But uh, it kind of looked like it. It just, uh, you know, it's just a bad, bad luck, I guess. You know, a bummer. But uh, let me know if you've had any, uh, you know, lightning issues in your place. Uh, this is my second one I've gone through. One, the 
not only one here, but uh, my house a long time ago when I was a young young man. Uh, I, like I said, that uh, neighbor's uh, fence post took that, and it took out a bunch of stuff at my house. And I actually almost started my house on fire. Um, I had, was in bed when it hit, and it was, man, that was a heck of a, a bolt. And all of a sudden, I hear my smoke alarm in the in the hallway starting to try to go off, trying to go off. But so I turned the hallway light on, and smoke was rolling out of it. And uh, it's an electric. It was an electric uh, smoke alarm. So that smoke alarm was on fire. <laughs> I pulled, went in the kitchen and pulled it down out of the ceiling, and literally it was on fire. Flames were coming out of it, and uh, I just pulled it loose from the wire ties that whoever put it in uh, used and threw it out in the front yard and then went out to the garage and of course all the power's out in the house and everything and I go out there and uh, grab a ladder and look up in my attic and make sure there was no fire up there there wasn't but you never know and it didn't care about my uh, tower it didn't care about any of my equipment but it, it did burn that up, and it just absolutely annihilated everything that was out in the, in my shop uh, as far as the sub panel was just, just black. I mean, it's like you took a, a blowtorch and was just holding it on all the wire and just blew, burned everything up. <laughs> so, uh, and it came in from the, the electrical line that went underneath the, between the house and the shop, it was underground, and it must have got in there. I wasn't the one who installed it, so I have to this day, I don't know how if they just buried the con uh, just buried the uh, wire without any kind of conduit on it or what but i had to redo that and of course it was done the right way but i don't know how it was done the first time but anyway sorry uh we'll try to move forward with these uh little projects but yeah i was almost ready to post the video i was almost got it all edited and uh, this happened so we'll see how long it'll take for me to get another computer going but I'll try to make some videos with my phone and uh, upload them. But I know this is going on it's a little long, longer than I wanted it to, but uh, I just want to let you know what's going on. Thank you for stopping by, and thank you for being here and liking my channel and giving me likes. I like that. Likes is what I like, and I like the comments, too. Give them to me. I can take them good or bad. Um, but let me know about what you guys think about this whole lightning thing uh do you think it was caused by me not having uh, it properly grounded or do you think it because you know it wasn't properly grounded that i had it plugged into the the uh, ftm 400 that 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 created a ground path of course for this to to happen but uh yeah you're always learning from these things and here you know i thought that radio was unplugged and it was not so yeah so i'm kicking myself over that but that radio is not gonna be gonna be used anymore. It might be able to be parted out, but it's. I'm sure the board that needs to be replaced, and I didn't take it out. But the amount of smoke rolling out of that thing, nah, it's not. I don't. I don't believe that it's sal sal salvageable. But we'll uh, we'll get things repaired and get back on the road again. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. That means a lot to me. Uh, I do enjoy making the videos, and I do enjoy the comments. And uh, let me know what direction you want me to go as far as the ham radio and the woodworking. That would be great, you know, what you want to see. But, uh, you know, there's plenty of videos out there, people making stuff with wood. Um, my channel is basically what I'm up to as a retired person. Retired ham, retired woodworker, retired whatever. But uh, let me know what you're up to. And uh, I just want to thank you for coming and stopping by my channel and, and seeing what I'm up to and what's going on here. Um, the dogs are behind me. <laughs> Let's see. Look at them. That's what I should be doing, relaxing. They love it out here. <laughs> uh, there's a Jagger looking at me and Callie. She's over there sleeping. So uh, he's probably wondering who I'm talking to. But anyway, thank you for being here, and we'll catch you again.